Hi, welcome to a nice morning in Chesterfield. We're going to get stuck into this project and hopefully miss the rain today. But what we're going to do is swap the filter for the skimmer and try and increase the flow through the backy shower. This incorporates using upgrading the filter to a 30,000 spring clean auto rather than a 20,000. And it's also going to use a 30,000 very flow pump. At the moment I'm running about 100% and I think it's about 110 watts it's pulling at the moment. We're hopefully going to upgrade to a 30,000 Veriflow pump to increase the flow through the filter and through the backy and hopefully by doing this we'll reduce the running costs of the uh, pump. If you're not already subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. Without any further ado let's get stuck in and have a look at the filter system. What we've got here is Pond Expert Spring Clean 30,000 and it's the auto version, Spring Clean Auto. Mechanical one's fine, you just have to do it by hand that's all with the lever on the top, but the Spring Clean Auto version basically just twists the knob and it automatically goes through a cleaning cycle. Suits ponds up to 30,000, hence the name, but again it is a pressurised system and it is an enclosed filter so you may filter out the dirt and the fires in there but it's still going through your water so you do have to do regular cleans on it to make sure that you're disposing of the dirty water fires and anything that you're pulling out the water. The beauty of the uh, Swim Clean Auto is like it says there it's ABC it gives you the flow, it gives you the sizes, it gives you the recommended pump flow rate and like it says there the recommended pump flow rate is 14,000 litres an hour so you could comfortably do that with a 20,000 litre pump but you'd be running the 20,000 litre pump at 100% hence why I'm using a 30,000 pump and hopefully I can just run it at 50 or 60% or even 70% and it will be less electricity for the pump. So we'll open the box and we'll have a look inside. That's the unit unboxed and you've got clear inlets so you can see the water going in which is a, 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 a bonus if you're using the hose tails. If you're using the uh, threaded solvent connected anything like that then you don't need those. But you've got a choice of inlets which is either a 32, 38 or a 50mm inlet and you get two of each, one for in one for out obviously. And then the one on the right is the waste outlet and that gives you the option of 25, 32 or 38. Got the rubber seals for the threaded ones as well if you need to do it that way and the beauty with the spring clean auto is you turn the blue knob on the top to the 90 degrees to the outlet open the outlet on the waist and leave it for a couple of minutes it goes through a timer it beeps once it's beeped you just turn it back off and away it goes clean water i'll open the drum so you can see inside the beauty of this is you've got a quick release so simple just drop straight down and then you can pull out the lid. In there you've got some bale beads at the bottom, got the rubber seal, got some bale beads at the bottom, some bale balls sorry at the bottom and you can add more in there, you can change what uh, you get in there, you're going to put some K1 or micro K1 or anything else in there or some extra helix, you've got those. And on here you've got a series of filters which are I think a lot easier on this one just turn that take the screw off there and you can take the filters out give them a clean every year or whatever just check make sure they're okay but what happens is this spins round crushes the filter to blow all the uh, to squeeze all the dirt out when on the cleaning process and the water flow of the water flushes it out through the waste Quick, easy, light, and as you notice from the 30, the 30 is wider and shorter. So we'll go into the filter house now and have a look where that's going. The skimmer goes under the floorboards and comes up again there where is a 20,000 variable pump. It goes up, it goes through a T there and it can either go direct straight across to the pump, up to the backy, or it can go up through, through a flow meter. 
into the Spin Clean Auto 20, which is a lot taller than this one. Comes out of the Spin Clean Auto, back to the T, and can either go down at low level, or it can go up through the building into the back of the shower there. So what we're going to do is expose the pump and strip back to the filter. That's the bit out. So it's going to be interesting now to line everything back up if it works. So I'll we'll start with the pump, I'll put the filter in there and then we'll go the pipe work later. And that's the finished article. What we've got there is a Pond Expert 30,000 brain flow pump and it's a two inch, two inch outlet into a T and the first option is a bypass back to the pond at the moment I've got an inch and a half at the pond so it's got a slight uh, reduce there the valve it's closed off so currently the water's pumping directly up through the two inch around the sleeping S bend into the Spring Clean Auto, which is a 30,000. So it's got an increased flow rate through the pump, uh, through the filter. And that comes off in two inch, and it goes up as before, back out the hole in the wall, into the back yard at two inch. And this is the part that I did. Upgraded from a 4 to an inch and a half to a 4 to 2 inch, 2 inch outlet, 2 inch sweeping belt into a 30,000 fair flow there. Out 2 inch into the UV and then the rest is inch and a half bypass. I've got the cave in to tidy up underneath there and then put some carpet back down. But no leaks, everything seems to be running fine. I've got this filter pump running at 60% and it's costing 138, well it's using 138 watts where before I was running flat out on the other one and it was 158 watts and the flow rate has increased with the flow meter I'll try and catch that in a minute and before at full whack on 100% I was getting 100 and about 450 litres per minute going through and I've got 172 at the moment running at 60%. Alternatively on the skimmer pump I'm putting 145 watts and that's running at 60 watts the same and that's going through a higher head and through a pressure filter and the flow rate on there before I'll just move to the skimmer. The flow rate on the skimmer before had got several gaps on the weir where the water's coming through, but now I've got a solid cover and it's definitely filling up more. I can tell by the spray bar at the top. You can see there at the top corner, there, where it's all two inch straight back to the pond. So in theory I'm circulating more water through the backy shower and more water through the filter for a lot less wattage. It's only peanuts at the moment but over the year through the summer it will make a massive difference. Thanks a lot for watching the video. As you've seen I've upgraded the filter system and the supply to the backy shower to hopefully increase the flow through the backy shower and by upgrading the pump, making it more efficient and uh, cheaper to run. While I got the pipe work off and I got the system shut down, I upgraded the pump on the uh, normal filter as well. And as you can see, I'm moving a little bit more water through there for a lot less money. And again, it's a cost saving where every penny helps. If you've got any questions on anything, on any of the pumps or the filter system, the back heat or anything you see in the video, please write them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Just before I go, I've got a little message from my youngster who loves watching YouTube, not just my channel, but a lot of the other ones that are out there. This is what you've got to say about the video. If you like the video. 
and like I always say if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos if you enjoyed the video hit the like button from a very warm muggy day in Chesterfield happy ponding